welcome back to the citizen channel we're all staying safe and well and join me as we look back at the talking points uh, yeah there's one or two wasn't there in a city two united one wembley fa cup final victory we'll tell you that another double another double uh, that's the second our second double i, th I believe uh, i think united have probably done three uh, so uh, yeah we're ca catching them up we're catching up on most things now aren't we so we're gonna have a look back at that the stats them the facts and uh yeah a little bit of opinion on, on a couple of things i think everyone's uh, quite familiar with some of the stuff we're going to talk about today so please join me if you are new to the channel push that subscribe button push the bell notifications great to have you on board everything city of course past present and as long as i can keep going as simple as that so it'd be great and if you can give us a like guys i'm trying to get at least 20 likes so you can just smash that button now and say listen to me for the next uh, 10 minutes or so i'd be very grateful and please give us your comments share all your opinions it'd be great to hear from you and lots of you do and lots more please please uh, Feel free, you know, as long as they're nice. Or, or I don't mind constructive criticism. That's always nice. I try and be honest. Uh, I'm not speaking for City fans in general. It's just my own opinions. And I do give other people's opinions on, on this or whether I'm doing my film stuff as well. It's not all about me. It's about what other people are thinking as well. So it'd be great to hear from you. Right, the team. Yeah, I got 10 changes to the Brentford game. No surprise there. And out of the 11, I got 10 right. So I was quite happy with that. I just had Aki in and uh, I didn't have Walker in, but it didn't bother me the fact Walker was playing. So the City 11, Ortega, Walker, Stones, Diaz, Akanji, Rodri, De Bruyne, Gundo, Bernardo, Grealish and Haaland on the bench. Edison, Phillips, Aki, Laporte, Alvarez, Mares, Foden, Palmer and Lewis. And the United 11, just for balance, uh, didn't look, didn't, didn't look frightening to me. Uh, not that I watch United that much, but names on a piece of paper didn't look that frightening. Uh, they probably weren't at the end of the day. De Gea, Wan Bissaka. We'll talk about De Gea. Wan Bissaka, Varan, uh, Lindelof, Shaw, Cassie. I like Shaw. I've always liked Shaw. I don't know why I just do. Casimiro, Fred, Eriksen, Fernandez, Rashford, and Sancho. They're they're subs. Butland, Butland, Button. Does it Button or Butland? I'll just say Butland. I don't think I didn't think he was there. Button, is it? Is that how it's pronounced? La Lacia, Maguire, Dalot, McTominay, Veghorst, Pelistri, Ellinger, Eling, and Ganacho. Yeah, a lot of people surprised he didn't start the game, but I think most people are saying he's probably more effective coming off the bench, certainly for a game like this, which is probably true. The referee. Not great. Paul Turney, his last time, of course, he's now ref City uh, 25, 27 times. We've won 24, so we can't complain too much. We've drawn one and just lost the two. He's shown 36 yellow cards to City players and no reds. And is in total, he's awarded six penalties to City. I don't have the stats on how many he's awarded against us, but uh, that would have increased by one yesterday, although he had a little help from the guy on VAR called Mr David Coote, who is pretty useless. Uh, last time, of course... Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it, I would say we'll talk about it anyway, but David Q, I mean, VAR, we know what it's like. We knew he was going to have some some bearing on the game today. It was bound to have, wasn't it? But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it didn't end up too bad in the end. Yeah, the first half, two goals, one brilliant one, as a, on one as a result of a highly content, contentious decision, which to the argument still go on today, which uh, most people are saying by the rules of the law it's correct. I'm not even 100% sure of that, but... Uh, you can guess two goals, one brilliant, one's not so much. You can guess which one United got, can't you? One nil, of course, after 12 or 13 seconds, you take your pick. Does it really matter? Probably not, unless someone else does it in 11 and in, you know, 11 or 12 and there's arguments over it was 12 seconds. You have to look back, guys. Tell me, when did it cross the line? What, what second? Of course, Ilkay Gunnion scored that, the fastest goal in FA Cup final history. I think there's a thing at Wembley with... The fastest goal was 19 seconds, which was um, an FA Vars final uh, way back when. Well, well sorry. So, an FA Vars final, FA Cup final, mm, comparisons, I suppose. Anyway, Ortega kicked it long, and he gets it back from Gundo and kicks it long, and it's sort of headed away, or tried to head it away by, by a Lindelof. But, of course, uh, it sort of made a contact with KDB. Uh, it's been classed as an assist anyway, so it probably did. And Gundogan just, just quickly fired it away. De Gea didn't even have a chance to move. He just rooted to the spot. Uh, and you can't ask. I mean, I was I was stood there. I was there, sat there then. But no, I was stood there watching. And the guy next to me didn't even move. I had to give him a nudge and say we've scored because he just, he just didn't, <laughs> didn't believe what had gone on. And most people haven't. Uh, just wow for that one. And we had another... 
uh, not so glorious goal, didn't we? This was, uh, well, 29 minutes. It was sort of 1-1, I think, when this actual happened. Uh, and, of course, uh, Turney was sent over to the monitor. We didn't particularly know what had gone on there and then. We didn't, you know, for a handball. I mean, it could have been a handball for us for all we knew because, obviously, three or four minutes had passed since it. And say no one in the ground. I think they're looking back at it today on, on YouTube, etc. A few United players appeal for it. The crowd didn't, of course, but you know, obviously it happened at our end, so we're not going to appeal for it anyway. And United fans probably wouldn't be able to see it from where they were. But yeah, even even so, there's not not many not many outside of a few players around it appeal for it. But there you go. I mean, for me, uh, in stop stop frame, it looks like a handball. But if you look at it in, in real action, there's not a lot much more you can do. And of course, you can't spin in the air to try and block a shot with like a like a ballet dancer with both arms by his side. So. Uh, it's debatable for me. And the biggest debate of it, of course, was is that VAR have to send it back to the referee if it's a, a clear and obvious error in their opinion. And I don't honestly think that was a clear and obvious error by the, the referee. I think he, he he said no penalty and I think he was justified to do so. So I think Coote was in the wrong, whether it's by the letter of the law. But once he goes over to the monitor you know it's going to be a penalty. But, uh, yeah, interesting penalty. Uh, of course, old old rat face does his spin of a, his little weird run-up. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what his stats are on scoring. Put it to that size of the goal. You know, Teagan and Daly had no chance with it. It just went, he went the wrong way. Uh, was he sold or was he just decided that anyway? I'm not too sure. But perhaps we should be a little bit better on the, on the stats on looking where people put penalties because it was pretty soft. If he'd gone the right way, he would have saved it easy. But hey, it's 1-1. One, one. Other chances in that half, uh, Rodri hit the side netting very early on, of course, with a chance to make it 2-0 from a KDB free cock, a cracking header from distance. That uh, Again, De Gea was, no, was going to get nowhere near it. He hadn't moved. Uh, City played out. Of course, we, we played our number two keeper on the day and just go back to the game. It was nice of United to play no keeper on the day, wasn't it? And I think that was a nice nice by them to, to balance it out like that. Haaland had a rare attempt, wriggling free, doing really, really well, but he smashed the ball over the bar from outside the area. Fred appears to foul KDB in the box, but no penalty given. Uh, one or two fouls by United players that, that uh, weren't punished. Uh, of course, the Casemiro one, where he literally... Uh, certainly an orange card stood on the kanji and then a kanji got a free kick awarded against him but hey that's that's Paul Turney for you United yeah nothing overly specific I mean the best chance was probably three minutes into injury time or VAR time as it probably was at that stage and an attempted clear and sort of ricochets to Rashford but fortunately we've got enough bodies in there to sort of stop him getting any sort of shot on target second half 51 minutes yeah our second and ultimately winning goal uh a sort of training ground free kick where we've done it before from corners where we play the ball out to the back of the area to find a player. And of course, KDB floated this uh, to, you know, and some people have been unkind and saying he didn't mean it. He just pumped it. But I think, I think he was looking for the man. He was looking for, for Dundu on the edge of the box. And uh, of course, that followed a, a foul that Fred had given away to give the free kick. Unmark Gundogan sort of adjusts himself smartly and he doesn't quite hit it smoothly, a bit bit a bit of a shinner like old Rooney's at Old Trafford against us that time where it looked spectacular, but he shinned it. Uh, and of course that little fact he didn't hit it sweetly probably benefited it. He sort of bounced it bounced a couple of times through a crowd of United players who got nothing on it from what I could see. It didn't take a deflection from what I could see. And it evilly started to spin away from the gayer who actually moved this time to try and save it. And all he could do was get a hand to it and help it into the net. And cheers, Dave. Thanks for that. It doesn't count as your goal though, mate. It counts as Gundo's goal. Other chances, yeah, 62 minutes to get a save with his feet from a KDB effort. He should have done a little bit better, KDB. He had a great chance. He sort of fluffed his shot. He sort of made it easy for De Gea to save with his feet. If he'd, if he'd hit it with more purpose, I think he could have got it inside the post and uh, we, we could have been happy days and relaxed a little bit more. We had a Stones blast that was well over from on 64 minutes. We had a 69-minute Rashford blast again. Uh, always slightly going over, but he perhaps could have done a little bit better, but one big chance for them. 71 minutes, Gundo reacts quickly as a Haaland attempt is kept out after some good work from Grealish. 
Uh, but of course, he's offside. Didn't look like he was offside to us at the ground, but he, he was well offside. Ortega was glad to see a Ganacho effort go wide on 72 minutes. Another good move for United when started to have at least some sort of go when he came on. They played a lot better. 83 minutes, Harlan finds a ricochet clearance just going wide. Yeah, it's it, it come back to him and he sort of bounced wide of the goal. Um, so that was that was close. He wouldn't know much about it. Uh, a Kanji lunge, but Mr. Bernardo crossed across the face of the goal. You know, he perhaps no one, not too near it. And 92 minutes, yeah, a late, late scare. I didn't realise how close it was till I got home and watched the highlights. But uh, all hell let loose as United hit the bar after Ortega gets a great block in. I hadn't appreciated just how good the block was to send it onto the bar. And then the, I can't remember, the United player got a header in, but obviously it loops onto the top of the net with old Johnny Stones jumping as high as he could to try and keep it out. But it obviously gone over the bar to the roof of the net anyway so yeah um they could have easily you know nicked a 2-2 and took us to extra time it wasn't to be the subs on the day 76 folding for kdb 89 minutes aki for Grealish, 95 minutes laporte for walker bookings yet yeah, ortega was booked no surprise no other keepers get booked do they well, seemingly so in the fa cup of the league these days apart from city keepers if we, if we dare waste 30 seconds here and there which other keepers do all the time but ortega was booked roger was booked for a tactical handball i've not seen that one back i mean apparently he could have been through if he hadn't handballed it but hey it's 90th minute sometimes the dark arts have to come into these games i wish we used them a little bit more at crucial times in games uh, highlighted City players' performance. I'm not going to have any real downers on not so good ones today. Uh, I think I think based on the game and the, the stress involved and the pressure, um, yeah, everyone did an okay job, a reasonable job. Some did better than others. As far as a very very good are concerned, is Gundogan. I didn't put on here, but I've just seen a little video of John Stones as well. Who, who sometimes in midfield, like Rodri does, and Gundo to some extent, get a little bit unheralded in that midfield position. But John Stones was everywhere, so I'll give him a special mention as well. The match stats: shots eleven for for City, five on target, thirteen for United. I was very surprised. Uh, there was actually three on target. Someone said there was only one, but it was actually three on target for United. So they did beat us on on shots, but <clears throat> it did surprise me that one. Possession 60% for City, passes 517 to their 342. Pass accuracy a little bit low for City, one of the lower of the season, 87% stress and pressure of Wembley, stress and pressure of going for a, a treble. Yeah, all, all adds up this and it's it's not just played in the feet, sometimes it's mind as well. So 87%, which is still okay, but not our highest by a long way. 78% for United, fouls 12 by us, 11 by them, two yellow cards each, one offside for us, three for them. And three corners each. XG philosophy, get yeah, Gundo's XG philosophy, two goals in 0 0.05. Uh, XG, so that's not bad. That's not bad going. I wasn't expected to score them. Generally, again, no, not for the first time. I've said this a few times over the last few weeks. Uh, we were we lost on XG to United. Uh, we didn't lose where it matters, but United was one point eight nine, and ours was just one point two two. So we closed the gap on our overall record. Now we've played them ten times in the FA Cup. We've won four and lost six. Now, so we're getting closer. We scored fourteen and let nineteen in. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, just a, a summing up, really, and a couple of opinions. Let me know your opinions. It'd be great to hear from you. Uh, please check out my player ratings showing the company of uh, Simon Rakowski, of course. We've got his views. Yeah, we don't differ too much. I think generally, I've, as I said, I've, I've allowed I've allowed for the, the stress and strain of this game on, on my ratings. Uh, no one got a less than a 6.5, even though someone, some might not quite produce as much as they could do, but I think they all did the job on the day. So check out that player ratings show, guys. Coming soon, of course, uh, as I said on my player ratings show, I've, I lost my match day pro. I lost my work. Maybe ten pound cup final pro. It fell out of my pocket. I don't know where it went. I obviously I've lost it, so I've got to buy another one. But there will be a, an FA Cup program watch, of course. There will be a Brentford one to come as well. That's still not come yet, so that'll be out there. A City Player of the Year on ratings from the Manchester Evening News and myself. Of course, Harlan led up to the World Cup break, so let's see if he hung on to that. Yeah, there might be a surprise in that one, so please keep your keep your. You know, so ears, ears, ears and eyes peel for that. That'll be over the next uh, 10, 14 days. A preview, of course, very quick before that of uh, City against Inter coming up with a look back at perhaps a bit of Inter's history and stuff. There's not much history between us and Inter, is there? So 
join me for that and much more stick with us certainly lots to come over the close season as well a couple of special art attacks for our wonderful city artists as well to come up so please please stay tuned It'd be great to have you on board and leave us your comments thanks for watching guys great win another double another double a eh? let's let's see fingers crossed uh it's not going to be easy but uh we've got to travel to make history and try to get some create some more history and create lots and lots haven't we over the last few seasons uh let's go for one more let's be greedy join me for that for uh, a look forward to that very soon thanks for watching guys until we meet again honest one thing don't worry please stay safe blues come on city bye for now